Hey, my name is Marco. I'm a former pro opera singer turned voice actor. I love video game music and I love talking about video game music. It's so important to me. I think it's such a legitimately incredible art form with the context of the game and without the context of the game. Today we're listening to Punishing Grey Raven Narwhal. I don't know very much about this game at all. In fact, I know nothing. I'm going in this completely blind. It's intentional. Sometimes I like to have this immediate reaction on video so that you can watch it. And I like talking about my feelings about music and I hope that it allows you to sort of listen to music in a different way. I listen to music with a little bit more intention rather than just thinking, oh, it sounds nice. Like, let's listen to why things are being done the way they are. I don't go into composition. I maybe talk about instruments, but the real main point of this is to talk about the emotions that we feel when listening to game music. It's incredibly important to be able to do, and I think that anybody can do it. So let's dive in, okay? It's like we're in a, it's like we're on a platform and there's clouds around us and it's like we're surrounded by just mist and there's this otherworldly sound. Maybe that's supposed to sound like a whale call, but the piano, even right away, there's a very haunting and sad tinge to it, which I think is intentional because whoever this character is about, whatever Narwhal is, whatever the character, whatever's happening in the game, there's a lot of internal conflict and internal struggle, and you really hear it pretty much right away. This is a per this is a character with immense pain in their spirit. This is a character that has seen things that they wish that they had never seen. This is a character that has had to do things that they wish they never had to do. This is a character that has been put in a situation that makes them upset and frustrated. It's almost like they can't pivot away from this world that they've entered. They they are stuck and trapped and and they are trying to escape, and yet they simply can't. Crazy, nuts, fantastic. So we have this opening session that is this very distilled, very, very easy listening piano atmospherics. We're sort of painting a picture of an environment and, you know, or I'm, I'm looking at this this mech suit thing and, and this giant sword. And so I'm thinking this is the internal landscape of a person prior to then leaping into battle or leaping into conflict. And now we have this bum 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 So I think now we've entered into maybe this is a battle theme or a battle phase or something, or if we're fighting against this person with, with her, with this mech outfit, you know, sort of like pseudo armor. And so now we're in a conflict and there is a real sense of, uh, like lifting one's head and saying it's time and you just dive in and you launch in. So let's keep going. Do 
do you hear the melody? Do you hear the melody in there besides all this pulsing? That, even though we've got this real fast rhythm, you can still glean the way that the chords are written, an emotional state. To me, this sounds determined, it sounds proactive, it sounds ready for battle, it sounds focused, it sounds heightened, it sounds, well, there's still pain in there, but it sounds enthusiastic about what needs to be done. What I think is astounding is that we can take the rawness and the in the nakedness of a piano playing simple melodies in the upper octave of the piano keyboard, which an automatically gives us a feeling of loss and a feeling of sadness. And mostly due to the fact that the upper register in the piano is very bright and it's very, I don't want to say tinny because it's not tinny, but there's a very vulnerable sound in this bing, ding, ding, ding. Coupled also with a singer, solo singer. That's, those are steps. And those pitches, again, are not, in, they're not happy. You know, you hear that quality within that instantly. It's all just painting a picture. It's all just little things that are being used to tease out an emotion from us, the listener. The introspection in here is so beautiful. A whisper, a simple whisper. When do you whisper to somebody? You whisper to them when you're telling them a secret. You're whispering when you don't want other people to hear what you're saying, which I guess is a secret. You're whispering when you're trying to be quiet and be still. This is like a meditative, a meditative experience to, to talk to oneself. I've got this. I'm okay. You know, there is a lot of uh, a vulnerable strength in here that is absolutely ravishing. And I and I do enjoy that we've got this electronica fast beat, you know, sort of electric sound while we're still using the purity of a human voice and the gentleness of the upper register of the piano, like I mentioned before. That is so ravishingly good. <laughs> that is so good.
And what's crazy about that is that that's the same melody we just heard from one single voice incredibly gently setting us up to then have an emotional reaction to it in three minutes. Helpful by the buildup of a by delaying gratification. This is a genius move to delay gratification. What? And then it goes, and not only does it go in an unpredictable way, but it's it goes into a predictable, we knew that there was going to be a peak, right? That's a predictable move. What's unpredictable is using a chorus to sing the exact same melody. And you have this bright clarion, no vibrato, hits you in the face sound. This is just in pure empowerment. And, and as a player, it's, it's for you to use this empowerment to fight the boss or continue on with the story or whatever gets you psyched up and amped up because ultimately music is a manipulation game for you to hear so that you feel more connected to what's happening in the story programmatic music people that's what this is all about this is about telling a story and getting you invested and the best way to do that through music because music cuts through to the center of your soul there's no nonsense about it that's how it's done Yeah, Halo Week is amazing. This is seemingly simple, but incredibly complex. You've got multi-layered things. You've got the electronic bass, you've got the solo singer, you've got the choral singers, you've got the piano, and then you've got uh, just all this ele other electronic music on top. And it just, you mix it all together and you get a really fantastic end result. And it feels easy, but it's very complex. And that's the mark of a good composer. Anyway, that's me. As always, thanks a ton, and this is such a pleasure, and I'll talk to you soon, okay? Bye.